I want you to think of the longest running fight or battle you have read in a manga. Do you remember the anticipation of every new release? Or was it the anguish of wanting it to end? If you can, try and recall a rough estimate of how many chapters or length of time it took for the fight to conclude. Was it five weeks? Two months? Five months? A year? What about 20 years? For fans of Akagi, this question was more than a hypothetical. It was reality. The infamous Washizu Mahjong arc was the showdown between two masterminds of gambling Washizu Iwao and Akagi Shigeru, and it lasted a whopping 226 monthly chapters, starting in 1997 and ending in 2017. One Piece, which also started in 1997, would be around halfway through the Whole Cake Island arc when the Washizu battle concluded. If Attack on Titan, another monthly serialization started at the same time, it would fit into this arc almost twice over. This thing is actually monstrous, an enormous beast of an arc. This single arc is literally 74% of the entire Akagi manga. For those unaware, Akagi is a psychological gambling thriller created by Nobuyuki Fukumoto. You may know of his other famous series Kaiji, which has two anime seasons and multiple pachinko machines but we don't talk about those, or his visually striking art style which is an undeniably unique hallmark of his creations. The story focuses on Akagi Shigeru, a young genius who becomes a legend in the criminal underworld of Japan, a man gifted with extreme talent in not only mahjong, but gambling in general. Now you are probably wondering, what the fuck is mahjong? Look, I'm not going to explain how to play mahjong because that would take a while, but what I will tell you is that to enjoy or watch Akagi, you do not need to know the specifics of the game of mahjong. All you need to know is that <coughs> Mahjong is a four-player game where players discard and draw tiles to try and form winning hands before their opponents. It is an equal game of luck and skill. One wrong move and it could all be over. Mahjong is used within Akagi as the gambling backdrop, arguably the same way poker is used within the movie Casino Royale. Sure, it would be beneficial to know the terminology and intricacies of the game being played, but what makes the scene work is the use of tension, the deceptions made, and the heart racing stakes. It's the same for Okagi. The way Fukumoto can immerse you within his works is truly captivating. So why did the Washizu Mahjong arc take 20 years to finish? Honestly, there isn't any other explanation than that's just simply how long it needed for the battle to be complete. Complete in the sense that Fukumoto truly was given the time, patience, and money to fully realize one of the best psychological standoffs I have read within a manga. If I had to play Devil's Advocate, I would say because of its monthly serialization. The amount of twists and turns that occur in this Mahjong game is amazing. His use of pacing by slowing down crucial hands really emphasizes the stressful nature of how indecision in Mahjong can ruin you. Obviously, if you read this during its release, I would have to agree that it probably did get a bit exhausting with how slow it seems. Luckily for me, when I read the series, it was all wrapped up. So my experience was that each chapter back to back really built to the pivotal moments of each match. I'm now going to talk about some slight spoilers, so skip to this timestamp if you don't want to hear them. Something I find hilarious with this arc is the time period of its release when compared to the in-narrative events taking place. Usually in most forms of media there was always an apparent gap between real time and what's taking place in universe. In this case, the gap is so large it's hard not to point out. So on the night Akagi and his crew rock up to Washizu Awao's bachelor pad, they start the gambling match turned death game at 10pm. They play around for 9 hours until the 6th session ends in the early morning. From when Akagi sits in that damn chair, it takes him 20 years to leave that building. This reminds me of Interstellar when they go on the planet where the passage of time is different for anyone outside it. 
why Shizu's mansion must be some interdimensional rift or something. What makes this more absurd is that there was an official timeline that shows the real life events through the years that coincide with major points in this match. The very fact that this picture even exists is surreal. This shit is like the old boy montage of him breaking out of his cell. The way that the timeline is framed here makes me want to think that the extremely terrible world events listed can be comparable to whatever the fuck Akagi is up to. Like look at this, it's like oh yeah, in 2003 the Iraq war began. What a horrific moment in history. Actually scratch that. This is a more important moment. The fifth session ended and Akagi took first place. Man, that massacre in 2008 where a guy ran over a people with a truck and then stabbed like 20 people in Akihabara, that was really brutal and messed up. But more importantly, the sixth session south first round started. And and the thing is, the, the whole this whole picture, it, it's riddled with sh this shit. Like, I'll put it in the description, like... <laughs> This thing is crazy. In manga or novels or any art form, it's all too common for artists to experience burnout or problematic health issues or any circumstance that get in the way of their life's creations being made. There are so many pieces of fiction that I have seen and read that are either incomplete or have abruptly ended. Because of this, I have come to accept that it is possible for the things that I love that are ongoing may never end, especially after the tragic passing of Kentaro Miura. So when something like Washizu Mahjong actually completes, it's nice to know that there's still hope that no matter how unlikely, how improbable, even if it takes years and years, there might be a chance of a story getting closure. I highly recommend Akagi. Even if you think you might not like it, it's worth giving it a shot. Fortunately for you, there is a 2005 anime that is great, so I would watch a few episodes of that, and if it catches your interest, awesome. If not, that's fine also. I admit that series like these aren't for everyone, but if you do continue the anime, it acts as a great starter to the series because it adapts the manga fully up to around the first quarter of the Washizu Mahjong arc. After that, you need to delve into the manga around chapter 109, to continue and see its conclusion. A massive shout out to the scanlation groups that have come and gone through the years translating, cleaning, redrawing panels and everything they have done to make Akagi accessible to the people worldwide. Without them I would have never seen the conclusion of the story because an official version of Akagi does not exist yet. Hopefully this changes in the future much like how Kaiji recently has gotten an English release. Let me know in the comments below what fight or arc from any show you thought dragged too much or needed more time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a Mahjong game to attend to. No!